Hello world, this is Woodrow Kufa Willis, and we are coming to you live from what formerly was known as Qualcomm Stadium. But now the name has changed and the team is gone. It's in LA now. If you don't know about the Chargers moving to Los Angeles, it's a very sore spot for all these San Diegoans. But we're not here to root on what was or what was not the Chargers at once upon a time. No, we are here for women's national soccer team. Yeah, the women's national soccer team is playing today and they're playing Denmark. So go USA and it should be pretty awesome. Sudden, they're down 3-1, they score three goals in nine minutes, and the year change for the United States. Look at the difference from those first eight games to the last eight, and in particular, Morgan, Alex Morgan and Julie Ertz. And we'll start with Julie. And not only is she dictating play, she's dictating the offense. Six goals in the last eight games of that calendar year. Buddy, you're a boy, make a big nice plane in the street. Gonna be a Morgan, who's coming into the summer, an eight-game goalless drought. But she turns that around in August and goes seven goals in seven games. And what a finish she had to the year as well. I could argue make the top ten for you. This is a very good team. They're 2017 historic as well. Made it all the way to the final of the European Championships. That included a massive win in the quarterfinals. Shocker over Germany, 2-1. to one. Their first over the Germans since 1995. They fell in the final. A great match Just against the away from Kickoff U.S. Soccer celebrating the iconic Hope Solar and her 202 career international appearances. Solo, the only goalie in the history of international soccer, men's or women's, to hit that 200 cap plateau. Two-time Olympic champion and Julie, a World Cup winner in 2015. And I think you can eat. Defense! Ha, 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 ha. 
Green is here. <laughs> that was <impressive. laughs> yeah, that was. <laughs> ah, just out of reach. I love you. Go birds! Uh, did you did you uh, talk to, to Zach right before the game as well? I'm sure. Oh yeah, we were texting all the way up, uh, like right until the last second. We could absolutely text, and I try not to look at halftime, but I, you know, people gave me the smile as if they knew something. But I just I couldn't wait till the whistle like was gonna blow, and then they told me, and I I had to make sure from like 10 people that that they're going, and I'm just I'm so excited for them, I, I'm, like unbelievably excited. Everyone's talking about it. You want to see it? Yeah. Universe, and I'm packing right now because I'm getting ready to go to Oklahoma.